Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Aaron African Meat here. Today I made another off-center um, turning. Um, it's a ball and inside grooves and outside off-center grooves. Um, that's the inside. It's supposed to be like that I think you will see it better here I will show it to you now I think you'll see it better um, I had my shares of um, mistakes with the first one and with the second one the first one then the second one um, Still, I managed to get to this one. I don't think it's still perfect. I think there is some more work to be done on the next one, not on this one. Um, I will do another one. At, at the moment, I'm still thinking what type of a base I'm going to do to it. Um, but so far, as it is, I like it. Um, I used few techniques here. Um, I used a uh, chump chump chuck I used it resin because this piece of wood was very cracked I had a lot of cracks inside but it was a beautiful piece of wood so I used a lot of resin to fix it um, you know what why I'm talking so much let me show you what I've done uh, remember uh, safety first uh, a mask a shield let me show you what did I do The wood is wild olive, and I drilled uh, a 60 millimeter um, hole in the back so I can reverse chuck it. It will be easier than put it between two centers. So I made a template. This one will be for the complete, um, sorry, complete arch. That's for the, the final step. This one is the same arch here, but I left a place for um, uh, to hold the chuck for for the tenant. So I can check that this one when I work with the tenant, it's correct. This is one that I made for the inside of the of the ball, and this one, it's the female of this one, will be for a jump chuck that I'm going to make.
it's a nice piece of wood and I don't want to just uh, destroy it um, it's got plenty of cracks it's got two or three holes so what I'm going to do I created as you saw I created another tenant in the back and I'm going to put the whole thing into resin um, put it in a pressure pot and hopefully um, I'll be able to save this piece of wood to make sure that resin will go everywhere I'm just drilling it a hole through to drill out from the tenant on the other side of the other mine because it will be filled up with with resin and then well that will be the inside I'll machine it out I need to make a groove so it will go through here so I know that this thing will be filled up with resin also that's why I want to put so what I'm going to do I'm going to make this hole a little bit bigger hopefully the whole thing won't break on me Now hopefully when I pour up the resin, it will go through here and it will fill up this hole. The resin I'm using Art Expression, um, South Africa, and I'm using inside the added uh, copper powder and I put it in a bowl. I love working with resin. The usual for me, the sandpaper from 180 to 600. Here I just went up all the way to 400 only.
I'm I'm checking with my jig now and I'm quite happy with the with the depth and the, and the curve. So now it's time to start uh, sending and the same thing, uh, 180 to 600. I'm marking out the horizontal line. That's the guideline that where I'm going to put the the spacers uh, marks uh, for the grooves. I made a spacer of one centimeter width, and that's where I'm marking the the marks for the grooves. I had to swerve the head of the of the lathe. Uh, I'm lucky that I can do it on the, on the Nova uh, DVR XP, and um, I moved it so I can reach the grooves. Oh my goodness! I moved this camera so much, but it, now you can see it properly. As I was doing the grooves, I was with the back to the to you, and I was blocking the whole view of the of the camera, so I had to cut it out. But now you can see the the grooves and the depthness of the groove that I made. I'm making now a jump chuck that will fit the inside of the ball. The jump chuck is already made from the previous uh, project that broke, but now I have to modify it to work for this ball. I'm um, using a system that I learned from uh, my club's chairman, uh, Mervyn, uh, and he puts um, painter's tape inside or wherever he needs to use hot gun glue so it doesn't go on the wood, it's going on the painter tape. It's a brilliant, brilliant system and it saves a lot of time on, on cleaning afterwards the hot glue gun or the hot gl uh, glue. I'm removing the tenant and I'm leaving the tailstock till the last minute and then um, I'm sending down a little bit um, the, the ball from the outside uh, the same thing uh, 180 to um, 400 but it's only on the, on the, on the area where the tailstock was sitting and, and we have resin over there, so it, it will come smooth and the small pee-pee will remove it, uh, remove it this way. On the ball, on the ball I put a double-sided tape and, and the tailstock I put um, 
a nylon bush that I made. Um, so it, I took the remove the sharp part out, the sharp spike out, and I made this um, nylon bush so it will not damage the the ball. After I sandpaper it and I give it a little bit of polish with um, um, Yorkshire grit, I'm removing it to put it in the new position of the off center. And now you'll see why I'm using um, um, painter's tape. See, it's left on the the papers. The the tape stayed on the on the jump chuck, and the the ball is clean inside. Off camera, I've done exactly the same. I put again painter's tape, and this time I'm going to put it. Uh, off center and I'm going to glue it again. This time I'm putting the hot glue inside the ball already for a stronger strength to hold it much better. Now I'm putting the hot glue on the outside also, just for extra strength. Like on the inside, I'm doing a horizontal line and then I'm doing uh, the distance between uh, the cuts for the grooves. finger cross so this time it will not break on me <laughs> A uh, little bit of Yorkshire grit uh, for all the marks that's left on the on the end of the um, of the groove. After I removed it, there was a little bit of marks from the painter's um, tape, so I'm just polishing now a little bit inside, um, so it will look much better. I found uh, a, a small piece of a leftover wild olive uh, from another project, wild olive and resin and I decided to make out of it uh, the leg for this uh, for, for the ball. A little bit of Yorkshire grit to shine it up and almost ready on this side. I changed the chuck to a pen chuck and I put some insulation tape around it so when I put the, when I put the, the stain inside it's not going to damage it.
a little bit of Yorkshire grid and it's ready. It's almost finished. I think it's actually finished. Actually, it came out of focus from the camera, but I just put inside uh, some super glue and my logo, and uh, voila, it's ready. Hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation, this uh, project. If you did, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it will help me um, to create more videos, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Enjoy!